The Green Software Foundation just recently had a hackathon for their impact framework, which allows you to measure the environmental impacts of software. And one of the winners was an entry for measuring the environmental impacts of large language models. They've got a GitHub repo with their winning project, and I'm going to walk through it to show you how they derive their results and how you can use the impact framework for measuring LLM usage as well. So most of the work of this entry being done is in the research, being able to leverage the proper formula for calculating large language model carbon intensity. They reference this article where some of the figures that were needed to do this calculation are implemented for LAMA, the open source model by Meta. So here we can see the equation that the LAMA group used for calculating the CO2 equivalency. And that formula is the number of GPUs being used for training, the number of training hours, thermal design power of the GPU or CPU, which is the amount of heat generated by it that its cooling systems can dissipate, times the power usage effectiveness, which is a data center metric where you calculate the power entering the data center divided by the power used by the equipment within that facility. So essentially the efficiency of the data center times the carbon intensity of the grid. And for this, the team used the national average value, but obviously this would depend on the cleanliness of the grid in the region that you were doing your training. In other words, does it run on coal, wind, solar, et cetera, as well as how heavily that grid was being used at the time of training. So generally power is more expensive during peak usage and cheaper at times like the middle of the night. So we can run this with the impact engine or the IE command after we install the dependencies and we just point it to our YAML file here and it will generate an output file at the directory you specify. And if we look at that result, which I've already gone ahead and generated, we get our operational carbon metrics. So if I plug that value in that we got from the manifest, we can get some useful equivalencies. So just to get a sense of what this value means, this is actually in grams of CO2 equivalency. So it's about 13,852 kilograms. And if we plug that in to the EPA's greenhouse gas equivalencies calculator, we see that that equals about 1,560 gallons of gas. So what were the inputs we used to get those outputs? Well, uh, 992 GPUs used for training, 82,432 training hours, a thermal design power of 0.4, power usage effectiveness of 1.1, and an average carbon intensity of 0.385. So let's just go ahead and check these values in the research paper, make sure we're doing things right here. So here we see that they assume training required 34 days on 992 A100s, which is the NVIDIA chip of choice for model training currently. Then we've got that 82,432 GPU hours mentioned here for Llama 7B. Uh, you can see how much that jumps for larger parameter models like Llama 65B, more than 10 times as much energy. Then we've got the thermal design power, 400 watts. So that's the 0.4. And the power usage effectiveness is mentioned right here as well, 1.1. And a carbon intensity factor set at the national average of 0.385. And lastly, let's just check our results. And you can see the carbon emitted, according to their calculations, is about 14 tons for Llama 7B. So that checks with our estimate of 13.9. So we know our calculations work. And for your own training purposes, if you wanted to measure this sort of thing, you would just need to figure out how many GPUs you're using, how long you're training for, what your thermal design power is for the GPUs being used, and the spec sheets for the GPU you're using can usually be found online. Here's NVIDIA's H100. There we go, we've got a 350 watts. And for carbon intensity, you can also find these figures published as well. I'm in Oregon, so I could look this up and see that my grid carbon intensity is 0.4. So if that's where my servers are at, that would be my grid carbon intensity. So that's a look at how to use the impact engine in order to calculate the carbon footprint of training an LLM. If you want to look at some of the other winners of the carbon hack, and the solutions that they came up with for using the impact engine. You can check out this 
repo here. We've also submitted an entry for the carbon hack, which allows you to measure the carbon footprint of using websites. And the Green Software Foundation has some example manifests within their own repo that can show you how to use the impact engine as well. Uh, their documentation can be found here. I'll post those links in the description. Thanks for watching.